Let me, uh... So I hope you guys can hear this. Mm -hmm. Use my old calculus book. So, I'm going to take a page out of Gas Lamp ASMR's book. So we're going to open up the OBS and I'm just going to make some ambient sounds that I think sound good. And of course, as always, I would love your feedback. Maybe I should put these in. Oh yeah, I got something even better. So in three, I'm going to. into a carved bamboo cup. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay. Yeah. I think that sounds, sounds quite a bit better. What about you? So, I was watching Gas Lamps live stream the other night, and you can just tell he's thought about, he's considered what... ASMR really is. And, uh, it's really, really fantastic, I think. So, if you guys haven't seen his channel, go check him out. If you like, after watching this, you like what I did. Um, so we have some tools right there tools, 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 and I thought I would get, let's see, okay, I'm going to start recording right there, so what I'm going to do is, I have Google Translate set up here, Type T H A N K S F O R B E I N G H E R E. And so I had my. <laughs> I was watching some review, bro, earlier. So I have my YouTube studio here. Is go to analytics and what I always one feature I always loved in the YouTube analytics was that you can find out <laughs> how how many different people roughly watch your content across the globe and it usually gives you a little map but this studio is a little bit different so, traffic sources, I gotta, I gotta figure out, so, interest viewers, playlist, built an audience, where's, oh, there we go, top countries, to be honest with you, I'm gonna go to, um, settings, view additional features, and yeah, this is going to be more of a hangout, 
but I want to learn, as always, a little bit as we go. So I'll go to analytics here. Okay. And then demographics. And as we can see here, it says age, which is it's mostly just given overall. Yeah, so most of you are male. About 15% of you are female, and most of you are from 18 to 34 years old. So, that's, you know, that's something interesting, I guess. But here, right here, is what is interesting the most to me. It's where we have the... all the different countries. And... Now, I'm not sure why the U.S is 53%, just, just over half of my viewership. Maybe it's because I'm American, or maybe it's because mostly um, our population is so big. Maybe it's the biggest English-speaking country, I, th I would think. Um, but 15% is from the UK of you, you all. And, and then it drops off precipitously, precipitously, precipitously afterwards to Canada with 5% and Australia, Germany, Sweden, Ireland. All you guys are around 1 to 3%. So, for the non-English speaking people, which, yeah, my top four are Australia, Canada, the UK, and the US, I'm going to go to Germany, and I'm going to, thank you all, yeah, I was looking at this guy, Essence of ASMR, I liked his, I love his guitar playing, he had a really cool couple of videos, so yeah, something to check out. Um, yeah, so thanks for being here, and I want to, I want to look that up in German, and this is me speaking German, Danke fürs Dasein, and, uh, yeah, I've heard a little bit about the philosopher Martin Heidegger, um, who talks about being in the world as a philosophical concept, which I can't even begin to express how difficult of a concept it appears to be, but the, he uses the word Dasein quite a bit. Thanks for being here. Hope you are doing well. Let's pretend we're, uh, let's pretend we're, we're being ER right now, ephemeral ripped. Let's be a German, ephemeral ripped. German, very German. So, it should say, good evening. Maybe I should do that. Good evening. Guten Abend. Ich hoffe, es geht dir gut. Geht dir gut. Guten Abend. Ich, ich hoffe, es geht dir gut. Okay. I hope you are doing well. Let's get our, um, let's get our tacit conversation out of the way. How is the weather today? Wie ist das 
Witter, Huit, Hute, Hute. Is it Hute? Hmm. Um, what else can we do? What else can we do? You know what? Maybe I can make this. Perhaps I can make this. A dark theme. Classic. Customize. Let's go to customize, maybe. figured it out that uh, the text in the left column doesn't appear white. It overrides it somehow. So, and I wasn't intending this to be a mukbang, but I'm hungry and I have some dirty, sweet potato chips. And these are Hopefully not too salty and oily for my for my keyboard. Don't want my keyboard to get dirty. See if you guys can see this. Oh. Five second roll. That is indeed a, a potato chip. a pretty good sound. And this is actually pretty cool. I actually did get this in Jamaica. And this guy in 2005, apparently. I forgot what year it was, but that would be 10th grade. I think 10th grade for me. So, and we watched this guy take a real bamboo and, yeah, just carve it up. Carving these little trees right here. And then we can see he's got a flower. He was actually, I mean, you could tell he, uh, he was doing this for a living right around the Ocho Rios, I believe. Some, you know, making a living off the tourists. Like us filing off the boats. Let's see if I can cover that up a little bit. But, um,. Yeah, I always, always liked it, you know. I think there's a... Oh, and then the bird. The bird, of course, the bird. All right, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Yes, indeed. Okay, so... Yeah, 
I just thought that was a, a neat little uh, custom made item. Okay, so German. Let's think of one more thing I could say in German. Um, oh, I got one. So, it must be a, no, it must be stressful to be a, an engineering student in Deutschland. Is it Deutschland? In Deutschland. Because 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 you know German engineering <laughs> um, Yeah, that has to be a uh, That has to be a very global uh, Trope, stereotype, right? How well engineered the Germans Engineer things thought that from everything I read, um, well, particularly this guy who uh, was a German himself, he's always talking about, he's always talking about how um, disciplined and intellectual kind of you know, in the 1800s, at least, there is a clear distinction between English men, Eng English culture, and in German culture. And the Germans were a lot more disciplined, more conservative, um, much more, y you know, just overall, I guess, less loose, less lax with their guidelines in their, 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 um, their borders, if you will, I guess. So they're engineering, they were very logical, that's why their, one of their greatest philosophers was Immanuel Kant, who was one of the most rigorous logicians, um, in philosophy, um, and I guess that's why he's so hard to understand. So, is muss to all you Germans, is muss stressig sein, ein Ingenieur, Ingenieur in Deutschland zu sein. Well, du wiped. I don't know how. It looks like a beta. I don't know how to pronounce that letter right there. Because you know. Maybe that means to know. Weist, maybe an S. Deutsch engineer, engineer schoolst, engineer schoolst. You know what? He always says a lot of German phrases. For instance, the great chain of being is. Rengo, Renga Foge der Wesson. Wesson. I guess Wesson. I guess Wesson means being. Because, as, of course, this, this whole book right here had to be translated from English to German. But. Just 
I just like the idea that I remember when I was reading this, the genealogy of morals. The concept of guilt and debt. Because uh, th this guy, before he was a philosopher, he was what's called a philologist, and he was trained in the old ancient texts. So he was trained to read the old texts and interpret them. And so I just thought it was, it's very interesting to know that all of our modern languages, the Latin, the Romantic languages, you know, everything, especially European languages, are derived, you know, have a have a mother language and so all of our ideas they mean a little bit slightly different things in different languages so you know a book can never be truly translated into another language because words are fluid and they take on the characteristics of the the zeitgeist of the age of the nation in which they were, they were written, written, and so, so, so yeah, I was originally going to look at a, a German word, but I love how this guy looks at our past and says, we derive all our ideas of what is good and bad, and even the words good and bad, from the people who defined civilization and society and the way to act and be political and inter interact with among nations and tribes and um and it's so true you know so you're kind of a being out of time and you're kind of left adrift if you don't understand the history of, you know, if you're from the West, Western civilization, and if you are from the East, your Eastern heritage really is a reason that we do most of the things that, that we do. And um, in the word kakos, kakos maybe, Greek, as in delos. So kakos means um, bad, ugly, ill-born, mean delos means cowardly, worthless vile, wretched the plebeian in contradistinction to the ag ag agathos which means good, well-born gentle, brave capable cowardice is emphasized so yeah, anyways I, I, I think it's interesting that our words that we use to characterize a person's actions nowadays have a have a whole history you know of, about them but I really digress I apologize for that guys so let's see the next one was oh boy this is hard to read colors let's do kind of a fruity, flavorful looking uh, color scheme. I kind of like it. So, Sweden. Next, we have Sweden. The country of Aesomartica. And my ancestors. So, I will say...
German that's Ello. We get steer. And okay, let's go to Sweden. Sweden. Here we go. Swedish. Swedish right there. And this would be Hedge Hurmardu. Hedge Hurmardu. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but and then hope is not too too boring. I hope this is not hope this is not too too boring. Yagobas Yag Yagobas at Deta Inte arsa dragged, drag it, drag it. Yagobas at deta. Inte arsa drag it. <laughs> oh boy, I don't know if I did that right. Okay. Sleep. So where do redan redan? So where do redan? Um. What time is it over there? Vad vadara. Clocken dara porta porta clocken clocken love that okay we'll wrap it up I will say thank you for being here with me Let's see if that's different without with and and without the with me at the end Tak for at do arar and let's see thank you for being here with me with me tak at do arar med mik med mik med mik wow I feel like I, I sound almost exactly like ASMR to come when I'm doing that He has that, um, such a very, very deep voice, very deep voice. I feel like maybe it's my bias because it's foreign to me, but his accent sounds so nice, like, um, it really, it's so much more relaxing, even when he's speaking English with his accent than to me someone speaking just American English or even uh, British English but I appreciate all the love you show Yagub Skatar Al Karlek Du Visar Yag Abskartar Al Abskartar Al Karlek Du Visar Samarctica using this translator. Yagopas, Yagopas at Samarbeta, Med Eosamarctica, Med Hjap, Avdena, Over Satar, Over Satar, Yagopas at 
the more better med ASMR tycker med ett hjälp ett hjälp av denna oversatör det vill bli cool I, um, I reached out to him a while back and he was really really excited he was uh, very much ready in game to do a collaboration but um, where we actually compare notes, kind of do one of those uh, GB creative calm type of collaborations but I wanted to incorporate maybe keyboard sounds as well and I thought maybe I would type things out these would be maybe common colloquial phrases to me in Florida and uh, he would try to say in my accent and I would do the same Jag skulle skulle vara ut säker 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 dessa dessa skulle vara vanliga vanliga friser till mig i Florida han skulle försöka säga dem i min accent. go now and uh, I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in I really enjoyed this and uh, it's fun I think for for me and hopefully it's interesting enough for you as well so finally I want to bid you adieu, adieu. and um, I hope you guys sleep extremely well tonight as always and wake up feeling refreshed and ready to take on whatever it is you guys have to tackle tomorrow. I wish you nothing but the best. All right. Tak for at du tetet. Jag maste kun ganupa grund av big material. That's funny, big material. Untan for. Tak. Tak for at du tetet. Danke, danke first, Zusha. And uh, I want to do Dutch. But
bedankt voor het kitchen, kitchen. Bedankt voor voor het kitchen. And uh, lastly, I want to do, I want to do Irish. Irish. I don't know if that could be translated. Yes. Mm. Oh boy, bushkash, bushash, lit as fishant. Bushas lit as fishant. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody.